State agencies are an integral part of protecting the food supply in the United States. Each state is unique in how they regulate food products and investigate foodborne disease outbreaks. The duties of state agencies are similar, but the location of work and legal authority varies. In most states, health agencies and agriculture agencies have legal authority to investigate foodborne disease outbreaks and to regulate the food supply. Your state likely falls into this general structure, but specific programs and authorities may differ. Before we talk about how state agencies protect the food supply, let's discuss how they're structured. The type of relationship a state public health agency has with local public health agencies determines the health agency structure. The health agency structure is the organizational and operational link between state and local agencies. The categories of health agency structure include centralized, decentralized, and shared or mixed. Centralized state health agencies provide local public health services that are primarily led by state employees. Centralized agencies do not have any independent local public health units. The state has authority over budget decisions, public health orders, and selection of local health officials. South Carolina is an example of a state that functions under a centralized health agency structure. Decentralized state health agencies are a collaboration between local health departments and state health agencies. They're organizationally independent from one another. Local health units are led by local employees. The local government has authority over budget decisions, public health orders, and selection of local health officials. Massachusetts is an example of a state that functions under a decentralized health agency structure. Shared or mixed state health agencies utilize a shared authority among state and local health services. Local public health services are provided through agencies that are organized and operated by units of local governments in some areas and by the state government in other areas. Texas is an example of a state that functions under a shared or mixed health agency structure. In contrast to the health agency structure, the agriculture agency structure is very different. State agriculture agencies do not have extensive statutory or operational ties with local governments. They may have regional offices and laboratories within a state to assist local governments and businesses, but the legal mandate and practice to work with local governments is not the same as health agencies. Agriculture agencies do not usually have legal or operational interactions with local governments, such as local health agencies. Regardless of how the organizational structure differs among states, state-level agencies coordinate efforts in epidemiology, environmental health, laboratory, and food regulatory programs. Health and agriculture agencies are generally the two agencies that are involved with food safety, foodborne disease outbreak detection, and response activities. State health and agriculture agencies routinely communicate with federal agencies to ensure coordination during multi-state investigations, compliance with food establishment inspections and assessments, and data collection for foodborne disease pathogen surveillance. State agencies are also responsible for reviewing, monitoring, and regulating hazard analysis and critical control point plans, or HACCP plans, mandated by state and federal regulations. In most states, the majority of foodborne disease surveillance and epidemiologic activities take place at the health agency. State and local health programs are responsible for implementing and enforcing laws governing foodborne disease surveillance and outbreak response activities. Environmental health and retail food safety units also have prominent roles in responding to complaints of foodborne disease. They conduct environmental assessments during outbreak investigations and impose control measures during outbreak responses. State health agencies also disseminate information to local health agencies, coordinate multi-jurisdictional outbreak investigations, and provide health education and promotional materials. Local health agencies are an essential part of the national food safety system. Throughout the United States, local public health departments vary extensively. They serve small rural communities with populations of less than 20,000 to those large metropolitan areas with populations of 8 million or more. Local health department operations and resources differ significantly among states due to population size. However, all local health departments have similar roles and responsibilities. Agriculture agencies primarily promote and regulate the production of plant and animal food products within the state. 
They are tasked with conducting regulatory sanitation inspections at commercial food facilities, such as grocery stores, supermarkets, and warehouses. They also conduct regulatory sanitation inspections at food processing and manufacturing facilities. They may also be responsible for grading meat, poultry, and egg products. Agriculture agencies are usually responsible for environmental health assessments, stop sales, recalls, trace back and trace forward investigations associated with these food products. Programs that are voluntarily implemented by the food industry, such as meat, poultry and dairy processing establishments, also fall under the jurisdiction of state agriculture agencies. Food establishments are routinely inspected for consumer safety by one or more regulatory agencies depending on the structure and regulatory authority of your state. Public health and food safety laboratories are generally located within state health and agriculture agencies. Laboratories at health agencies conduct advanced testing on clinical specimens, environmental samples, and food samples. Test methods, like molecular fingerprinting, are used at state agency laboratories to aid in foodborne disease surveillance and epidemiologic investigation activities. Food safety laboratories at agriculture agencies routinely test water, dairy, meat, environmental samples, and other food and feed products for contamination. They also test these items during outbreak investigations. The Food Protection Rapid Response Teams, or RRTs, conduct integrated, multi-agency responses to food and animal feed emergencies in various states across the nation. RRTs are developed through a multi-year cooperative agreement between the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, and state food regulatory partners. RRTs demonstrate extensive collaboration among multiple disciplines, including partners in environmental health, epidemiology, laboratory, law enforcement, and emergency management at the federal, state, and local levels. The RRTs activate in response to food or animal feed emergencies in their states by utilizing interagency communication, established plans and procedures, and jointly trained staff. Now, let's take a look at how state-level agencies in Florida protect the food supply. Florida's food safety system is divided among six state-level regulatory authorities. The Florida Department of Health, or DOH, the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation, or DBPR, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, or FDAX, the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration, or ACA, the Florida Department of Children and Families, or DCF, and the Florida Agency for Persons with Disabilities, or APD. Each agency is responsible for regulating a sector of the food supply and is often based on the type of food establishment. These agencies work independently as well as collectively on foodborne illness complaints, outbreak investigations, and environmental health inspections and assessments. The Florida Department of Health functions under a shared or mixed structure. There are 67 counties in Florida, each county has its own health department that receives funding from the local government as well as the state government. All employees of DOH, whether at the county or state level, are employees of the state of Florida. Counties function independently under a unified code and receive guidance from DOH central office in Tallahassee. County health departments are responsible for food inspections, consumer complaint investigations, and foodborne disease outbreak investigations. They have diverse teams composed of epidemiologists, environmental health specialists, nurses, and health educators that work on food safety issues every day. DOH Central Office is responsible for compiling large data sets of outbreak-related information, reviewing data for trends, and investigating abnormal disease trends. Along with the Central Office, county health departments conduct surveillance on reportable foodborne diseases. When a cluster or outbreak is detected, an investigation is initiated. The Food and Waterborne Disease Program was established in 1994 and consists of regional environmental epidemiologists that assist county health departments with surveillance, investigation, reporting, and prevention of food and waterborne diseases. The program also trains county health department staff on food and waterborne disease investigation best practices. DOH also regulates food service establishments located in institutional settings, such as schools, assisted living facilities, adult daycares, and detention facilities. 
It also regulates civic and fraternal organizations, bars and lounges that do not prepare foods, and theaters that limit their food service to items customarily served at theaters, like beverages, popcorn, hot dogs, and nachos. Food establishment inspections at DOH function under the guidance of the Food Hygiene Inspection Program. The program is made up of a unified code of rules and regulations and is risk-based. This means that facilities that pose a greater risk to consumers are inspected more often than those that pose a lesser risk. The amount of risk is determined by risk factors. These risk factors include the types of food served, the amount of required preparation, the population that's served, and the quantity of food that is prepared. Inspections are performed by the Environmental Health Section at each county health department, which is responsible for all DOH-regulated food service establishments located within the county. When a foodborne disease outbreak occurs in a non-DOH-regulated facility, epidemiologists from DOH have authority to conduct an outbreak investigation with or without the assistance of the regulating agency. The Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation is the agency charged with licensing and regulating businesses and professionals in the state of Florida. The Division of Hotels and Restaurants licenses, inspects, and regulates public lodging and food service establishments in Florida. The Bureau of Sanitation and Safety Inspections is responsible for inspecting licensed food service facilities. The Bureau has seven district offices that are located in Miami, Margate, Fort Myers, Orlando, Tampa, Jacksonville, and Panama City Beach. Each of the seven district offices is responsible for coordinating daily activities and scheduling inspections. DBPR regulates restaurants, most mobile food vehicles, caterers, and most public food service events. The Division of Hotels and Restaurants conducts regular inspections of public food service and lodging establishments to assure compliance with all state sanitation and safety laws. The Division inspects all public food service establishments according to the risk-based inspection frequency. Under DBPR's risk-based inspection frequency requirements, food service establishments are categorized by risk levels rated 1 through 4. Assigned risk levels directly coincide with how many inspections establishments are required to undergo each year. In addition to routine safety and sanitation inspections, DBPR responds to complaints and coordinates outbreak investigations with DOH. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services supports and promotes Florida agriculture, protects the environment, safeguards consumers, and ensures the safety and wholesomeness of food. FDAX has 14 districts throughout Florida where inspectors regulate their respective food establishments. The Division of Food Safety is responsible for assuring the public of a safe and wholesome food supply. The division monitors food from the farm through processing and distribution to the retail point of purchase. The Bureau of Food and Meat Inspection regulates the commercial food supply for compliance with state and federal regulations. FDAX regulates supermarkets and grocery stores, convenience stores, coffee shops, bakeries, retail meat markets, seafood markets, juice and smoothie bars, bottled water plants, ice and water vending machines, all food processing plants, food warehouses, food salvage stores, and certain mobile food units selling only pre-packaged foods or non-potentially hazardous food items. FDAX is responsible for reviewing, monitoring, and regulating HACCP programs mandated by state and federal regulations and voluntarily implemented by the food industry, such as seafood processing establishments. Inspections that are conducted by FDAX are public information and can be found online. Food establishments receive either a pass or fail rating based on findings during the inspection. Florida's Integrated Rapid Response Team, or FLIRT, is a multi-agency response team that is working to have representation from all regulatory entities in Florida. The current stakeholders involved in FLIRT are from FDAX, DOH, DBPR, and the Florida District Office of FDA. When a food or animal feed emergency is identified in Florida, FLIRT can be activated. These agencies work together under an incident command system to effectively respond to an emergency. Although characterized as regulatory agencies, ACA, APD, and DCF have minimal roles when regulating food establishments. The Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration regulates food service facilities located in hospitals and nursing homes. 
The Florida Department of Children and Families regulates food service facilities located in child care facilities and foster homes. The Florida Agency for Persons with Disabilities regulates food service facilities in group care facilities. When there is a foodborne disease outbreak in any type of food establishment, DOH has authority to conduct an outbreak investigation. Usually, the regulatory agency will accompany a DOH team during an outbreak investigation. For example, if there is an outbreak associated with a nursing home, ACA will accompany a DOH team on a site visit to the implicated facility. As you can see, Florida's food safety system relies heavily on strong communication. These six regulatory agencies work together to protect the health of Floridians by identifying, responding to, and preventing foodborne disease. The next video will introduce the roles and responsibilities of a foodborne disease epidemiologist.